Hi, Martin here. I want to show you a trick on how to get a knot like that out of your tugum strap. Unfortunately, this happened to me. I've had this strap. It's a three inch wide pro comp for, I'm going to say, 25 years. I go outside, I'm pulling a stump out of the ground with the Jeep. Well, I tugged on it, tugged on it. You know, I quickly hooked up the strap. Didn't see the knot that was about to happen. So after tugging on that stump a few times, I come back and I'm like, oh crap. And uh, this is a weak spot now in the strap and I don't want this. So we're gonna see if we can't get this out. All right, let's get started. All right, what I've been doing right here, I've been soaking it in water for a little while, and I got a couple of these, what do you call them, dead blow hammers. They got a sand in them. And when you hit something with them, they uh, do a pretty good job. So I'm gonna see if by hitting this, if we can loosen up that knot. My cat, right here. This is Milo, by the way. You're a good buddy of mine, aren't you? He's a big boy. Just barely uh, coming up a uh, year and a half old. There you go. Stay out of the way, buddy. Let's see if we can't work that knot loose. Unfortunately, do, you know, getting tugged on with a Jeep in four-wheel drive and hitting it kind of hard, that's as tight a knot as you're going to find. If I hit it right there. And I wouldn't recommend shoving any screwdrivers or anything in here like trying to pry it open you're just gonna do damage to this strap I don't want to do that and I like using this type of a hammer also because it's not metal you're not gonna like tear these fibers apart Now, this knot is as tight as you could possibly get a knot. I mean, if you had this, you did this, let's say, to a, a ratchet strap, you're not going to get it this tight. I mean, this was, you know, hit on hard. You got a four-wheel drive truck pulling it, you know, snatching it. And uh, you're going to try to work this backwards, of course. So this is going in through here, coming out here. Now if I could get any movement out of this, I would say I know I can do this. I can barely like lift right here. What I'm trying to do is like change the shape, make it so it forces it to go looser. And I can see it when I'm hitting it with that hammer that it's doing that. This doggone thing is so freaking tight. I tell you, right there I can get a little bit of movement almost. I say it's going to happen. And this type of stuff, you just got to be patient and work it. Right? Oh yeah. Ah. I'll tell you, I'm pretty stubborn, and I'm going to win this battle. I do feel it has loosened up a little bit. Yeah, because I can actually flex it a little, you know? Before, it was just super tight. Like right there, I'm able to open it up some. Right, see right there? I'm able to move that around. I wasn't able to do that before. Right? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, there we go. That definitely helped. Oh yeah, come on baby. Look at that. See how much we're able to get some motion out of that right there? Oh yeah. Now, oh yeah, I I'm winning this. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. <laughs> nice. All right. I don't believe it. Well, I do. I'm just that stubborn. All right, we got that out of there. It just proves it can be done. You just got to be a little patient and, uh, you know, soak it in some water. And uh, a BFH with, uh, n you know, don't use a hammer. Use something like this and you won't uh, damage the strap. And uh, we're back in business. All right, I want to thank you for watching. Hey, and if you enjoyed this and found it helpful, informative, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. That way you get notified the next time I upload a video. And now I'm going to put some products or tools in the description below um, through Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate. This helps out the channel. I sure appreciate that as well. Uh, if you like this, please appreciate the thumbs up. And uh, we will see you on the next one.